Hello, dear students. Let's start quick solution to All India Akash Test Series. Medical 2020 for TYM. The test is 07 and code CND. And physics test, the test held on 31st of March 2021. So let's start with the problems. The first question says, a rabbit runs across a parking lot. The path is such that the components of rabbit's position with respect to and origin of coordinates as a function of time are x is t square plus 10 and y is minus 90 plus 5. Here at x and y are in meter and t is in second. The magnitude of rabbit's displacement during the first 5 seconds is. Let's see the solution. It's given that x equal to t square plus 10 and likewise y is equal to minus 90 plus 5 and you have to find the displacement in first 5 seconds and the formula for displacement delta r is delta x whole square plus delta y whole square so you have to find delta x and delta y now when time is 0 you find x naught is equal to 0 square plus 10 so it is 10 meter and likewise at t is equal to 5 your x1 is equal to t means 5 square plus 10 so this is 35 therefore from here delta x mean this minus this is 35 minus 10 which is equal to 25 meter so likewise at t is equal to 0, we'll find y0. And y0 means minus 9 into 0 plus 5, which is equal to 5. And t is equal to 5. And your y1 will be equal to minus 9 into 5 plus 5, which is equal to minus 40. Therefore, delta y will be equal to minus 40. And minus of 5 so that is equal to minus 45 meter so we'll fill up in this one so you get delta r the displacement that is 25 square plus minus 45 square whole root when you solve you get the answer 51.5 meter therefore the correct answer is option number two to this question Let's move to the next problem. The question number two is, which of the following statement is incorrect regarding nuclear forces? The first one is that nuclear forces are stronger, being roughly 100 times that of electromagnetics. That's true. The nuclear forces have short range, dominant over a distance of about few Fermi. That's true. Nuclear forces are central forces and independent of spin of the nuclear. No. Nuclear forces are non-central forces and they depend on the spin. Like spin gives better interaction than the unlike spin. So this is a false statement and nuclear forces are independent of nuclear charges. That's true. So the correct option is the option number three. So your answer is three. The question says two bodies A and B hanging in air are tied to two ends of a string which passes over a frictionless pulley. The masses of the string and the pulley are negligible. Two masses of 2 kg and 3 kg respectively. Then the mass 2 kg moves up under the net force equal to. Now, dear students, you know that if we draw the free body diagram, this mass would come down and this mass will go up. Under the constraint motion, both will have the same acceleration and T will be the tension in the string. It's light. Then your acceleration is equal to m to g minus m1g, that is unbalanced force, divided by total mass. So m to g is 3g minus 2g divided by 2 plus 3. And that means g by 5. So, if you take g as a 10, so 10 by 5, this acceleration is 
two meter per second square. Now, in order to find what is the force acting on this one? There is tension and there is weight. So net force by Newton's law, F should be equal to the mass of this object into the acceleration. The mass of the object is 2. And you have seen recently that acceleration is 2 meter per second square. So therefore, the net force would be 4 Newton, which is also equal to T minus 2G is equal to M into A. Right, so the correct option is four newton, and that is the third option. So answer to this question is three. Question number four: A vehicle is crossing a vertical convex bridge. The force exerted by the vehicle on the midpoint of the bridge with convex curvature, moving at constant speed, will be. These are the four options. So convex bridge is like this one, and this is the highest point. This is center of curvature and the vehicle is somewhere here at some instant at this location. So moving with the constant speed V up and its weight is acting vertically downward mg and with the vertical this angle is theta let's say. Now the normal reaction will be output drawn normal and let's write the equation at this point that it's accelerated toward the center. Therefore, m v square by r is equal to the component of mg towards center. This that is equal to mg cos theta minus the normal reaction. Right? The other component is mg sine theta, which is opposing v. So we are interested in calculating n. So bring on this side so n become equal to mg cos theta minus m v square by r this is moving at the constant speed v now as it reaches the highest point then theta becomes zero because theta is with the vertical taken so at the highest point this is equal to mg and the speed is same mv square by r now out of these two values you find that n prime is the greater than n at all the instants. So as this theta is more, n is less. So the normal reaction will be maximum at the center. So your options that the force exerted by vehicle on the midpoint is more than at the ends. So answer to this question is the first option. Now let's look at the question number five, a block whose mass is capital M equal to 30 kg is pushed across a frictionless surface by a stick whose mass is 2 kg. The block is moved from rest a distance of 3 meter in 2 seconds at constant acceleration. With what force does stick push on the block? Now dear students, this whole system is moved through a distance of 3 meter in 2 seconds with constant acceleration. So we use the kinematic equation s is ut plus half a t square. So s is given to you 3, taking u to be 0, 1 by 2 into acceleration. You have to determine the time is 2 second, 2 square. Therefore, this cancels. So a become equal to 3 by 2 meter per second square. So get the acceleration 3 by 2 meter per second square. Now look at the question. He says that the block is moved from the rest a distance 3 meter. With what force does stick push on the block? Now this is the block and we are making free body diagram of the block. Normal reaction is balanced by the weight. And this is the force exerted by the stick. That's F. And you have seen that acceleration is 3 by 2 meter per second squared. The mass of the block is given 30 kg. So therefore, F should be equal to mass, no friction, into acceleration. The mass is 30 and this is 3 by 2. So that is 45 Newton. So this is the force stick exerting on this block. And the same is there, this block is exerting on this one. So your answer is 45 Newton. 
that is the third choice. So answer to this question is three. Let's move to the next problem. Mm -hmm.